if we enter this, we now have a force field. And if we leave, the force field disappears. And yeah, that's Welcome back guys to a new Roblox Studio tutorial. So today, we're going to be making a safe zone region. Now this is very similar to our no backpack region video I made previously. And it's going to be utilizing a region. So right here, as you can see, this is an invisible part. Um, this is our region. This is basically what we used last tutorial. This is the same exact thing. Uh, this is just the part that resembles or that displays the region that if you enter it, you're gonna, something's gonna happen, right? So in the case of the last tutorial, we made it so when someone enters this region, you will have an invisible backpack. Basically, you can't see any of your tools and you can't use them either, right? So whenever you enter there, here, whenever you enter here, uh, you will unequip all your tools and you can't use any tools in your backpack because it's gonna be invisible. So now what you wanna do is instead of making that, we wanna make it a safe zone. So safe zone, you can pretty much have this in any type of game such as simulator games etc so let's actually make this a bit uh we don't have to make it bigger anyway let's keep it let's keep the same so what you want to do is have this base part right here and then a region that covers this entire part right here uh so whenever someone enters it you want to detect whenever a player has entered this part and you want to make the player's health basically infinite or make the player have a force field right in this case, we're going to make the player have a force field so uh, no one can damage the player. No one or nothing can damage the player, basically. So this is the same local script we used last tutorial. This is the same exact script. Of course, all this does, it removes the backpack. So it makes the backpack, the backpack GUI invisible. The inventory GUI, I should say, invisible. Obviously, this is for last tutorial. We won't be using this, but we will be using the same basic script. So what we're going to do is do the script and I'm going to leave this down in the description or at least, yeah, I'm going to leave it down in the description because it's kind of fair that you guys can copy and paste this. Um, we're going to comment this out because we don't want the backpack to be invisible this time. This was for last tutorial. We're going to delete this or comment it out. We're going to keep this, the rest of this. So should I explain this? Yeah. So we're going to go briefly over this. We made some variables, region part, is the region part the actual physical region part this is the part that we made that's going to resemble the region now the actual region is a region 3 value um so just for the sake so player is game that player is that local player that's a local player character of the player is car so you make a for loop every one second so yeah so region 3 so the region the actual region is the region 3 value that we made from the part now this looks a bit confusing but basically what we did is we made, we have the, we got the dimensions of the actual region part. So this is the first parameter. This is the second parameter. All this does, it gets the per, the dimensions of the part and it makes a region three value from the dimensions, the meant dimensions of the size of this part. So we store this value inside the script. And so we can detect whenever a player has entered this region 3 value that we made through the script. It is a bit confusing, but that's probably the hardest thing about this script is making the region 3 value. Now from this region 3 value, we have a white part list, a uh, white part list, no, a white list. And this white list is basically a white list. So you know what a white list is. So whenever you want to detect where, whatever enters this region, so anything can enter this region. It could be a part. It could be an NPC, but we want it to be the players, the local players in this case, character, right? And specifically the character's body parts. So for example, if I walk through here, right now, if I walk through here, it's gonna detect my, my character's body parts. So if I enter here, the character, right? The character will enter here. The script will detect that I've entered this uh, region. But if there's like a random part that enters this region, it won't detect it because it's not in the whitelist. So for example, if it's this bazooka right here, oh, this bazooka, oops. Or if it's, let's say this ban hammer, it won't detect that it's been dropped inside this region because it's not a part of the player's character, of the local player's character. 
So let's go back here. So find parts with in region three. So this is the region three. Find parts in region three with whitelist. So this is the region, and this is the the thing we want to find inside the region, which is the characters body parts characters descendants so the children of the character which is the local player's character so we loop through all the parts that that are in the whitelist and then if the part belongs to the local player then we set this value or this variable to true meaning the player is in the region and that's how we could detect the player is actually in the region and yeah that's pretty much it it is a bit confusing uh if, it's, if this is your first time i kind of explain I don't know, I think I kind of explained it better than last time. In the last time when I first made uh, a tutorial like this, it was kind of bad, but whatever. So now with the actual safe zone part. For the safe zone, um, I actually already made a script. Let's delete this and let's do it all over again. So let's make a server script and server script service. And then let's make a remote event in replicated storage. Already made it, whatever. So let's call this make force field. Uh, so, or yeah, make force field name it that make force field oops uh okay so this is basically makes a force field we want to make a force field for the player so whenever someone enters this they have a force field and they can't be damaged from weapons and other stuff all right so this is the this is the script so actually uh, before this actually okay so let's make the variable for the remote event here local um make force field remote will game that replicated storage that make force field okay so now let's go down here if in region is true meaning if the player is inside the region then you want to make a force field for the player so he has um he's basically invincible right because he's in the safe zone so make force field remote fire server and let's do true because we because the force field is going to be on the player otherwise we want to fire this remote event again this is just to remove the force field in case the player left the region because if it's because the player is either in the region or not in the region if the player isn't in the region we want to remove the uh, force field, so let's put false, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> oh, also one more thing. Actually, you know what? Nah, it doesn't matter. All right. Or should we do one more thing? Actually, what we can do, just in case, right? The player, just in case, because there might be bugs, right? Um. Let's do if not. Car find for his child forest field then put this line inside here so we don't add extra force fields to the player we don't add like duplicate force fields inside the player's character uh okay and let's do some little let's do a similar thing here and in this case is oops if car find first child for force field meaning if the player has had a for has a force field currently then we can delete it otherwise it will be an error because we don't want to delete the force field when the player doesn't have a force field to begin with okay so let's go to the server script and let's make this all happen so local make force Feel, you, can, you can name it anything, but whatever. Game that revenue swords that make force field. Make force field remote. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, on server event, connect function. So this is a player that you want to put a force field on. The players, the player that's in the safe zone. And make for make force field uh, make force field so if make force field equal true meaning if the player is in the safe zone and we need to make a force field for the player then local force field equal instance dot new force field ff dot parent 
equal uh no player player dot character actually before this let's make it invisible actually we couldn't make it um okay for now so ff that visible equals false uh this is just so we don't want to see the portal because it's kind of ugly but it's for now let's actually make it visible by default it's visible um just so we can kind of see that it's there else Player dot character find first child uh first field destroy. Alright, I think this should be it. Okay. So now let's actually try this out and let's see how this works. Um now one more thing okay let's first let's see if there's a force field on our character so we can check our character from workspace and recur this is us so if we enter this we now have a force field and if we leave the force field disappears and yeah that's pretty much it um now let's test this out now there is one thing I should mention. So let's let's search up a death part, death brick. Now there is one thing I should mention, and that is force fields don't protect the player for from everything. So I can explain this right now. So it only protects. So right here, as you can see, parent that human need that health equals zero. The force field won't work against this because you're directly setting the health to zero neither does it work when for example you do a minus equals 10 so you're subtracting 50 from the player's health this won't work for force fields so it'll directly bypass the force field and it will still damage the player so how can force field works how can force fields work as you do take damage and then for example 40 right so I can, I can demonstrate this, but okay, whatever. So let's say it sets the humanoid's health to zero. We can try this out right now with with our force field, right? And you can see it still won't work. It will still kill us because of the way it's scripted. So right now we still look, we have a force field, right? And we still die. That's because of the way the death part is scripted. So if we go back to if you go back to the take damage 40 this won't actually damage us at all because the take damage will be um how do you say the force field can can protect the player from the take damage command or function right now we are not being attacked. so just keep that in mind when you're making the safe zone um force field can protect the player from everything so in case I think all like generally all weapons do have this function take damage they don't like actually subtract the humanoid's health directly um, at least that's what I think um, but just make sure if you have weapons that don't work in the safe zone just make sure it uses take damage as a function and yeah that's pretty much it so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial very simple tutorial uh, if you want more give me suggestions on what you want next you can join our discord if you want uh leave suggestions on what you want like new video ideas it doesn't have to be tutorials it can be like events or challenges uh please yeah, yeah let, let me know let me know especially in our discord you can join our discord let me know any suggestions you want new video ideas etc events um on and on but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next